direct from Hollywood, is Waylon Flowers and Madam. seen us on Hollywood Squares, this is going to be a little El Diferente. <laughs> Already you may have noticed that Waylon over here is no ventriloquist. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, you see, because I'm no fucking dummy. <laughs> <laughs> get ready, it's my favorite word. <laughs> well, I don't get to say it much on TV. Peter Marshall won't let me. Now, with a name like Peter Marshall, Peter Marshall sounds like a security guard at a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> like my fuzzy? It's from Dicker and Dicker. This one looks like it's been dicked to death, don't it? <laughs> I didn't know what kind of fur this was. I took it to my furrier. I said, honey, what is this? He says, Madam, that is a very large, flat, dead thing. <laughs> well, I took it to Shirley, my dresser. I said, here, honey, you sniff this and tell me what you think. <laughs> well, she did. She says, ye gods, it's terminal Canadian rat. <laughs> Everything gives you cancer these days, doesn't it? I mean, every time a fucking rat dies in a laboratory, we lose something else good to eat. <laughs> now. I do want you to meet my dresser, Shirley. She's downstairs here. She's been with me for years. Uh, Shirley! Hop your buns up here. Hop, 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 hop. Yes, hey, darling, follow me. To meet all these lovely people. Is that a face? Would you like a nose like that full of Coke? Keep her around just to make me feel good. Uh, Shirley. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen, I've often wondered. With a face like that, have you ever been married? No, darling, I never was. I did live with a guy by himself for about 20 years, just to see if it broke out. Oh, really? Well, did it? Yes, it broke out bonds. But I broke it back in. <laughs> Roll her I love it, I love it. Listen, take Mr. Fuzz Fuzz down to the park and not let him romp around for a while, okay? There's a pooper scooper in the corner. We don't want to get any tickets. <laughs> Say, Dolphys, aren't you a little late getting out here tonight? Well, yes, I am, and I do beg your pardon, but I was backstage with my fiancé. That's French for the guy I'm fucking now. <laughs> you those Frenchmen are so wishy-washy you don't know if you're gonna get wish to wash doesn't bother me once I get my wishy I usually washy anyway <laughs> oh but he's a corker you ought to see him six foot four blonde blue eyes 19 I don't think that's a bad IQ for a guy 23 do you <laughs> Maud my best friend the other night told me she said madam you ought to be ashamed of yourself dating that young kid you should be more careful it could be fatal I said, what the hell, Maud? If he dies, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Maud, don't have both oars down in the water. <laughs> no, I bought her a vibrator for her birthday. She knocked out four teeth the first afternoon. She really did. She did, you know. <laughs> well, I guess we all have friends like Maud. I mean that you don't know what to get him for a gift. Like last Christmas, I thought, what am I going to get Maud? Well, finally, I wound up this little love boutique, bought her the cutest little rubber man, the kind you blow up life-size and the pee-pee gets hard. You've seen the kind. Well, Christmas Eve, I got that thing out of the box, started to blow him up. 
I blew him up real big, more as a chubby chaser. I got him El Grando Rotundo there. Rolled it over and corked it. What a cute place for the plug. Well, I took that thing in the Ma's room. She was already sacked out in the bed there, waiting for St. Nick. <laughs> She's got terrible adenoids. Start to take that thing and jam it up her nose. <laughs> but I didn't. I just laid it next to her in the bed and covered the both up with a blanket. Next morning, I got up. Maud's already in the kitchen there, washing out her eyelashes. <laughs> Boy, she loves that busy work. <laughs> I leaned in and I said, well, Merry Christmas, Maud. She says, Merry Christmas, madam. <laughs> I said, well, did you get my gift? She says, mm-hmm, sure did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, well, says, well, what? I said, well, how did you like it? She says, I don't know. I bit him on the neck. He farted and flew out the window. <laughs> Mom! blown to hell. You just don't take care of your toys, darling. Oh, come on now. Give the old gal a break. She can throw a funeral. She really... When her husband, Harry, died, that was the best funeral I ever went to. I guess you're right. Yeah. You'd never believe this. Harry was cremated. She had him cremated. I'll never forget the day the ashes arrived at the door, COD. She paid about four ninety eight for him. Took him into the kitchen. That's where she loves to do work. Dumped him out on the counter there. Moved him out. Started diddling with him with a finger. Even spelled a name out. Oh, oh, Harry. Remember that fur coat you promised me all those years? Hanging upstairs in the closet. And the Cadillac? Parked outside in the garage. And the diamond bracelet? It's in the bank in the vault this very minute. All bought and paid for with your insurance. Oh, Harry, remember that blowjob I promised you all those years? This not a talking story. Tell us a lie, then. Oh, my. God, Maude would have loved that, wouldn't she? Oh, Maude yeah. would have loved being here, yes. I'm sorry I had to leave her back in Hollywood. But I traveled with her a lot. I took Maud over to Rome to see the Pope. Never forget that day. God, we were coming out of the Vatican there, shooing the pigeons. <laughs> Don't do that, I'm church people. Oh, God, I hate birds. I used to hate flies until I learned how to open one. Well, there we were. Maud and I headed up this hill. I looked way up top. There was a lady headed towards us, one of her boobs hanging out. <laughs> Ma, do you see her? Lady on here, do you see her? Well, put on your fucking glasses and look. <laughs> do you see her now? She's got El Bubalola hanging out, honey. <laughs> I wonder if she knows. <laughs> I think I'll go tell her. So I raced over to her, the best Italian that I could muster. I said, ah, uh, quel breste, el expose. Ah, <laughs> uh, honey, did you know you have a titty hanging out? <laughs> she says, oh my God, I must have left the kid on the bus. <laughs> Oh, well, either I've got gas or I feel a song coming on. Oh, far in. I can get rid of the hat. We'll change the mood a little bit. The hat! You don't like the hat? Where'd you get it? I got it right off the monkey, honey. <laughs> I got that cup and his money, too, if I'd have had time. The Italian wasn't worth fucking around with. Come on, honey, give me my... Oh, good. These are my summer diamonds. Summer diamonds and summer not. Okay. 
I know it ain't Beverly Sills, but she can't tell a joke worth a shit. <laughs> Ten cents a dime. That's what they pay me. Gosh, how they weigh me down. <laughs> Ooh, you okay? Fix your chin. Fix your chin. Your chin. Oh my God, how on earth? <laughs> Ten cents a dime. Rough guys and candy. Tough guys who tear my gown and try to get at my fuzzy. Seven to midnight, I hear drums. God, what is he got over there, fucking parade? Lighten up, honey. Some of us are trying to sing. <laughs> Loudly the saxophone blow. You don't think I smell like this all the time? <laughs> Get out of there! God, I am surrounded by a satin! <laughs> Customers crush my little toe. Oh, look, Edith head still down there doing the gal. Hi, Edie! <laughs> I don't care what you say, Edith head gives good gown. <laughs> Wait a minute while I get my jewelry, don't I? <laughs> Long times, I think, I found my hero. But it's a queer romance. La, 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 la. What you need is a ticket. Yes, yes, madame. Now I'd like to take my hair down. Just let it all hang out. La da da da, ra pa pa pa. I love diamonds; they don't break. La da da da, ra pa pa pa. Ya da 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 da, la da da. The hell is the matter with this now? What you put it up with, glue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sometimes I think I found my hero, but it's a queer every time. <laughs> this reminds me, uh, do you know how to tell the difference between a California orange and a Florida orange? What you do, you get one from both states, bore a hole in both of them, suck on them, and the one that sucks back from Florida. <laughs> All that you need is a ticket. Come on, big boy, brother, can you spare a Forget Harry. Well, you know I am. I am. And I hear them. Well, there. 
time is it really? I think it's about 12.31. Oh my God, I've got a date picking me up. I've got to go back and oh, see nice. about Who him. Oh, who is it tonight? Well, uh, you've met him. His name is Jaime. <laughs> Jaime? Jaime with the pacemaker? Why do you laugh? The one with the pacemaker, Jaime. Just because right? he's got a pacemaker. But... Yes, every time he burps, the garage door opens. <laughs> Where did you meet Jaime? Where did I meet him? Well, I met him at a hotel in Vegas. I was playing little blackjack cards there. Had a terrible hand. Two threes and a joker. <laughs> I leaned over the table. I said, hit me. Somebody did. <laughs> I said, my God, man. Why did you do that? He says, I'll do anything you say. <laughs> Madam, I've been watching you on the TV, and I want you in the worst way. The worst way? I knew the worst way I could think I would be standing up in a hammock. Well, we got talking, don't you know, and first one thing led to this and that and that to this, and finally invited me to dinner, but had the audacity to take me to McDonald's. <laughs> God, I was so burned up, I ordered four billion burgers just to watch them change the fucking size. <laughs> and Jaime is so old. Old? God, he wouldn't come if he called him. It's true. <laughs> So what's the point of dating him? I don't understand. Why are you doing it? Well, he's got a few bucks to pay. <sighs> the money. Well, he has. He's been very nice to me. He even took me over to Caesar's Palace. Oh, my God. For a little tete a -tay. You should have seen that room. Have you seen the decor there? No. Orange, red, green, purple, white, brown, gold. It looked like a Puerto Rican prom dress. <laughs> <laughs> we were all in that bed for four and a half hours. Humping, pumping, thumping, and jumping. <laughs> Neither one of us getting it all. <laughs> Finally, I looked up at him. I said, what's the matter, Jaime? Can't you think of anybody else either? <laughs> <laughs> well, he turned every shade but every color in that room. I'm telling you, he tickled me to death. Death. What? Jaime's what? in the wing. He's there. He's in the wing. Oh, my God. Now I've got to go back and apologize. <gasps> oh, no, I'm in trouble now. Listen. Uh, well, is anyone here to cover for me? Uh... Oh, Crazy Mary punched in. You want to? Oh, how try wonderful! That? Yes. Oh, you're gonna love Crazy Mary. She's never been on television. They said they'd have to tie the tubes off first. <laughs> well, we met her here in New York years ago. She's AWOL from Bellevue. But I don't care. We love her just the same. I think we've all thought about going crazy at some point. It's just that Mary has really done something about it. <laughs> so without further ado, put your hands together and bring Mary to the stage. Yeah! <laughs> would hurry up and pass. <laughs> I pulled over. Mary, right, take that hat off. <laughs> I feel like I'm being watched. It's all right, Mary. You uptight? Hello. Why? You know Dr. Grimsley over there, the psychiatrist? Having group therapy. Said all the others, sit down on the floor and act like a frog. Well, I did, and he left the room. He hypnotized us. And I hopped out the window. <laughs> and I ain't been able to get my legs down then. Can you help Could you? Pull them down real quick like a band-aid so it don't hurt, okay? I'll count. One, two, go ahead. I'm scared. Go ahead. Three. <laughs> ah! Jesus Christ! Uh. 
You all right now? No. What's the matter now? The jacket's too tight. Too tight? Well, it ain't no fucking Gucci. You want me to help you off with it? Could you? Boy, I don't know how Houdini ever got out of them things. Boy, oh, good, it's good to stretch. Hi! Mm-hmm. Oh, hi, Lamar. Listen, will you take this downstairs and let Shirley hang it up? Thank you very much. to laugh. Well, I enjoy being crazy. See, being crazy means I don't have to explain a fucking thing I do. <laughs> a lot of people get real uptight with themselves about things. <laughs> you know, but I'm, I want to say, go ahead, baby. Do whatever you want. You know, as long as it don't hurt nobody else, go ahead. <laughs> A pigeon shit in my face the other day. <laughs> I don't know why he picked on me. God knows I got my problem. That <laughs> right in my eye. <laughs> the nurse that took me out for the walk, she says, Oh, Mary, I'm so sorry, honey. I'll go get you a tissue. A tissue? Who the hell is crazy? Her me? Time she got back with that tissue, the fucking birds is in Mexico. <laughs> hey, ain't them shoes a pisser? <laughs> I like to stay in style. Yeah, I'm very fashion conscious. Well, I like fashion. I don't know if I'm conscious or not. <laughs> you like my hair, dude? Shock treatment. <laughs> get them every morning. It's better than a cup of coffee to get you started. And I really like mine. I'm front line every day. Me first! Me first! I like them so much, I'm coming out with a crazy Mary shock treatment and home beautification kit. Yeah, I invented it myself. What it is, is two little wires you're attached to the back of your TV set. The other two ends to your titty. Then you wait for the 6 o'clock news. Then you rip her off. <laughs> Boy, it really sets you free. <laughs> and it's very healthy. It melts all the earwax and blows every hair out of your leg. <laughs> However, it does have one drawback, but what don't? It does have a tendency to redden the hair. <laughs> yeah, when I first started my shock cream was over there at Bellevue, I was a total blonde. Would you believe it? And now, I'm a real redhead. One more time for the guys in the back. Oh, yeah, they didn't see it? Okay, yeah! <laughs> Looks like a great place for a stick-up, don't it? <laughs> hey, numbnut. Listen, the other night in occupational therapy, I made the cutest little dress and hat. And when I got through, I said, what good is a dress and a hat without a song and a dance? So I'd like to go backstage, put on a little song and dance, and do a little dress and hat for the folks, okay? Okay, sure to get my dress and hat. I'm ready for the big time. All right! How? Some plastic pattern? <laughs> I don't know why they call them some plastic patterns. Do you know how long it took me to glue the fucking dots on this alone? <laughs> you know, I picked up the Inquirer magazine the other day. That wonderful medical journal. 
Better than that, one out of every three people in America is a little mentally off. One out of every three. So do me a favor this evening. Look over to your right. Then look over to your left. They look okay. You're it. <laughs> I was born with a certain habit. It's part of me. It brings me happiness. Somehow. Now this habit is right at home in the heart of me. Without it, I'm no good. No ha 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 You can feed me bread and water or a great big bale of hay, but don't take my boo boo be doop away. You can say my voice is awful, all my stories too. like cheap theatrics to me, Mary. You're in the middle of a tune. Now, come, get up. Just a minute! <laughs> pretty is as pretty does, right, Uncle Whelan? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> I'll do it for you, okay? What is it? Uh, could you do me a favor? What is it? Could you rock me a little and break the suction? <laughs> Not too hard like the Band-Aid, okay? <laughs> to the middle. <laughs> I saw Jaime back. He didn't even hear what I had to say. You know. He didn't? No, he didn't have his ear plug thing in his... Where'd he, where'd he have it? Up his ass, I don't know. <laughs> what are we going to do tomorrow? Oh, God. It's a big day off. Mm. New York. Mm. 
Oh, I've got... Let's go see a porno movie. I have never seen a porno movie. What a ducky idea. <laughs> well, I haven't seen one since Deep Throat. I took Maud. She thought it was going to be a giraffe picture. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Have you been to one of those theaters? Terribly small, terribly dark. Lots of raincoats. <laughs> well, I was sitting here, and Maud's sitting over to my right. I was heavily engrossed in the movie. Halfway through it, Maud turned to me in the dark. She says, Madam. Well. Madam, what is it, for gosh sakes, Maud? Can't you see I'm trying to watch this girl act? You don't understand. This guy in the next seat, he's playing with himself. <laughs> Do you want to move? <laughs> I'll change seats. <laughs> Maud, do you want to move? She says, no one be quiet. He's using my hand. <laughs> Well, speaking of using their hands, I'd like to introduce these people on this stage that have used theirs tonight to bring you all this crazy nonsense. Back here is with some Mark Better. Stand up and take a bouncy, bouncy mark. There you go. All right. Over to my left is Mr. Joey Mitchell on the drums, or whatever he's on tonight. God, sometimes we never can figure that out. To the piano and circle up right, my good friend and companion and conductor, Mr. Gary Simmons, who you'll find out all night. Yes, indeed, thank you. Gary! Oh, my. Oh, mercy. Oh, there is someone else I want to introduce tonight. Someone I met about 16 years ago in the Okefenokee Swamp. He took me out of there. I'd been wrestling alligators. Still have the purse and the shoes to prove that. <laughs> but now I give him all my money, he gives me all his grief. Ladies and gentlemen, Waylon Plow. <laughs> God, Mary's pulling out all her pubes. <laughs> Mary, don't do that! No, it is not a science project. <laughs> well, you're not. <laughs> Suppose we'll know by morning. <laughs> oh, I... You don't know, traveling with these kids is a real trip. <laughs> but traveling is where it's at. Lord, I've done enough of it. I've been from Bangkok to Bangladesh. <laughs> then everything twice. Loved it both times. <laughs> let me tell you this, sweetheart. When you get my age and you haven't done it all, and you bend down to adjust your wedges, and you smell peanuts and see confetti, you know for sure the parade has passed you by. <laughs> oh, they passed me by. It's run over me twice. <laughs> but I don't care. I just pick myself up, brush myself off, and start all over again. I can get this fucking poor to do that. <laughs> Yes, you see to me. <laughs> to be or not to be was never the question. To me, to be or not to be was the answer. Well, I plan to live forever, and I know the way. 
They'll fulfill in my endeavor, and I do drop dead someday. Keep your eye up on the sky, and if you see a comet pass, with a zillion yards of blue cork and the streaming from its ass and streaming on. Ah, ah, ah. Who could ask for a classier soul than the spirit of the man of wisdom? Go out, I'm tired. Come on, Waylon. It's New York City party time. It's dead hooks and everything. Come on. You're gonna be the death of me. Not if you're the life of me. Come on, sweetheart. Where's that limousine? I don't know what's happened. I don't know where I called him. What? Oh, you were so funny. Oh, all I could do to keep from laughing. Oh, Pudgy, you're a doll. What she mean by that? Listen, I noticed you're in the street. Are you out here? Still working, or through working, or what, madam? Well, it takes one to know one, honey. <laughs> See you tomorrow, and we'll divvy up the tip. <laughs> Who is that? Thanks. Yeah, it was one. Oh, Anita Gillette. Oh, Anita. Well, she looked sharp. Oh, God, you're just gorgeous, darling. What are you in now? You're in now? Oh, they're playing our song. Oh, they still are doing that? Yeah. Oh, well, they're still playing mine, too. I'm just... David Duke? Oh, my God. Of course, the psychotic killer. How are you, darling? The first deadly sin. Oh, the... You remember that nice ball Remember it? My God, darling, I'm trying to forget it. How many husbands have you had? How many husbands? Well, three of my own and five of my friends. <laughs> Good to see you, darling. I'm waiting for a limousine. All good right. night. Bye, bye, bye. Just have a good night. Bye, bye. Oh, my God, where is that car? I know I call that car or something. Maybe we can get a taxi. I don't know. I don't know. What is that? Honey, I think your horn is stuck. <laughs> Wonderful, oh. I love this show. You know, of all the wonderful people in the world, you're two of them. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you, Alice. I love you. I love you, too. I love your product. I love your How are things going, in Annie? On oh. Broadway, I know you're still doing that. Yes, I am. Oh, this is wonderful. Have you seen it yet? Have oh, yes, I've seen that. That's what you should be doing. You should be doing, Miss Hannigan. You'd be wonderful in it. Uh, you could make your comeback. Oh, come back, come back. Why the hell don't they let me stay? <laughs> Every time we get it right, they change it. <laughs> Listen, we're going out. You want to come with us? Oh, not with those kids around. Those orphans put me to bed every night. Oh. I've got to get my rest. All right, darling. I've give had me a hug. wonderful evening. Thank you, honey. Thank you, my darling. Good night. Good night. Where is that lovely thing, Leland? I don't know what's happened to him. I called him. I called him this morning. I don't know what it is. Oh, there it is now! Taxi! I always call him taxi, it makes him so mad. Let me pull right up, darling. We'll be right in. How are you, darling? It's good to see you. I love our car. I love the way the top goes down. Oh, I wish the chauffeur did. <laughs> Take us to Ted Hook, darling, and don't spare the horses. That looks like Jiffy back there. Where? It is Jiffy. Hi, Jiffy. How you doing, honey? How you doing, baby? What's happening, sugar? Ah, ah. What the hell are you doing in town? Well, just give us some instructions to the girls, you know, visiting my folks up in Harlem. Harlem? 
Is that where you're from? Sure, baby. Didn't you know that? Uh-huh. Harlem ain't a bad place to be from. Gets a lot confusing during Father's Day, but other than that... <laughs> <laughs> right, madam? Uh -huh. Yeah, I went to Harlem High School, too. That was a rough-ass school. I'm not kidding you. The high school newspaper had an obituary column. <laughs> but let me tell you something, madam. The night I graduated, I already had a nine-to-five job. Couldn't get nine? I'd take five. <laughs> Jimmy, you just won't do. <laughs> but don't worry, baby. I don't let nobody mess with my mind. It just ain't nobody's business. If I should take a notion to jump into that ocean, it ain't nobody's business if I do. If I go to church on Sunday, cabaret all day on Monday, it ain't nobody's business if I do. There ain't nothing I can do, no, nothing I can say That folks don't criticize me So I'm gonna do just what I want to anyway And don't care if they all despise me If I date a real style set up I'd like go home with someone better it Ain't nobody's business if I do What a time we're gonna have. First a big party at backstage, then we're gonna go to the battery. My God, the battery too, it'll be 6 a.m. That's the best time to go to the battery. Oh, New York, New York. I love Manhattan. The Bronx, Staten Island, Queens, oh, Wayland. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? What's the proud we hail? The twilight's gleaming, broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight, all the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare Bombs bursting in air, they flew through the night That our flag was still there, our flag was still there Ow! Oh, oh say not that star, spangled banner, banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave And the home of the brave And the home of the brave Uh, follow us, driver. We feel like dancing for a little while. New York City. I love it. Well, and we not only could have danced all night, we did. Can you believe it? All the way up from Battery Park. Quite frankly, honey, you've worn my battery down. Whew. Okay, madam, time for nighty night. Here, let me help you with the scuppies. Lord, look at those bunions. Paul didn't have anything on me, did he? <laughs> Get in that bed, girl. Just a minute, just a minute. Where's my mask? It's on your head, dummy. Crazy thing. Madam, you make me laugh. Well, you know what I've said, Wayland. It's my favorite thing to do. If laughter is a luxury, it's something we can all afford. You know something, madam? You're very special to me. Really, Wayland? Don't you know? Well, not always. Sometimes we forget to say it, madam. I've never told you this, but I've always lived in a world of watercolors. You see, I was teased a lot as a child. I was different. I was sensitive. But I had a grandmother that raised me and protected me. 
taught me to believe in dreams. She died when I was very young. And I cried a lot. By myself. Then one day, there you were. Needing me just as much as I needed you. Listen now, madam. And I'll let you know how much I love you. There's a somebody I'm longing to see I hope that she turns out to be Someone to watch over me I'm a little lamb who's lost in the woods I know I could always be good To one who watch over me Although she may not be the lady Men think of as dainty to my heart she carries the key Won't you tell her please to put on some speed Follow my lead, oh how I need Someone to Watch over me. Thanks for the lullaby, Cupcake. Now put on my mask and tiptoe out, will you? I think I can drift off now. Good night, madam. See you in the morning. <laughs> Want me to turn out the light? Hell no! Why do you think I wear this damn mask? <laughs> My dear, dumb sometimes. <laughs> what the hell is that? Hello? Hello, ma'am. Maud! No, you didn't wake me, darling. You couldn't sleep either? Oh, you are a friend to call. How's Hollywood? Mm-hmm. Got a letter? From whom? Well, of course I want to hear it, darling. I'm listening, yes. Read the letter. I tried to, Madam. Well, Oh, she did, did she?